Jesus' music came out of the cotton fields and out of the corn fields on the farms and on the slave plantations. Black influence on country music is immeasurable. And why are you singing their music? But it's my music too. One day there will be a black person who goes to the bank on country. It's hard to trace the origins of any one type of music, but one thing is certain. One of the cornerstones of modern American country music can be traced back to Africa. With the arrival of slaves to America in the 17th century came the blending of many cultures. We had various European cultures coming together with various African cultures and the people from each of those groups bringing their own musical backgrounds. There's a very thin line between the music of the slave and the music of the slave master. I've actually gone back and listened to old African chants that are actually note for note songs in America 200 years ago. Many historians believe the modern day banjo is most closely linked to the African lute instrument called the Akonting. It wasn't until the Gibson Company comes along and does the five string and the fifth string and the three finger Scruggs roll that we get it like it is today. But it was, a, it was an instrument that uh, came out of Africa. After slavery, America entered into its reconstruction period. As former slaves spread across the country, so did their music. By the time slaves were freed and then even later in the 1920s began to, ex-slaves began to move north in mass numbers. The division of hillbilly versus race was predicated simply and almost exclusively on a kind of racial hierarchy that this belongs over here to the black folk, this belongs to the white folk. String bands basically are the link between the really rural music that people were playing in their earliest days in this country and the later music that became known as country. I am black, beautiful. beautiful. The civil rights movement, the civil rights movement in the 60s, uh, is a big dividing line between the African American influence on country or involvement or even taste in country. A Mississippian with movie star good looks and a golden baritone voice rose to become one of the most recognizable names in country music. No one else has the worldwide name recognition that Charlie Pride has. Charlie Pride was just 14 when he bought his first guitar with money he earned picking cotton. He later became a player in the Negro Baseball League. His sports career took him to Montana, and record producer Jack Cowboy Clement brought him to Nashville. But it was a novelty to have a, a be cut in a country session with a black person. Oh, the snakes crawl at night. That's what they say. Snakes crawl at night was the first song Charlie and Cowboy Clement cut together. When I heard him in the studio, that's when I really knew that, uh, hey, I heard that big booming voice come through those speakers in there, and it was great. We drew quite a crowd that first session. Well, I'd promised Chet Atkins I'd play it for him first, so I did, and he kept it for a couple of weeks, and then they turned it down. But a month later, a casual encounter changed Charlie's life. Chet Atkins walked by. He asked me if I'd done anything with, with this colored boy. I said, not yet, I th I'm thinking about pressing up myself. He said, well, I've been thinking about that. We might be passing up another Elvis Presley. As Pride churned out hit after hit, 36 number ones, a career filled with Grammy Awards, gold and platinum records, only second to Elvis Presley in record sales for RCA. Any place is all right as long as I can forget I've ever known her. In the early days of touring, neither Pride nor the audience knew what to expect. And now, from RCA, Charlie Pride. Yarrr, and I come out of those shadows up in the lights and yarrr, oof, like turning on a volume. You could drop a pin. So what we had come up with, we said, now ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
I realize it's a u little unique me coming out here on a country music show wearing this permanent tan. <laughs> so I went into my into my show. This Mississippi native brought his first guitar at age 14, but he took a swing at a sports career before trying music. In 2000, the Country Music Hall of Fame announced the induction of its newest member, Charlie Pride. He's the only African American to have that distinction. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That same year, Pride was honored at the CMA Awards Thank Show. So With 11th grade education, I look back, I don't feel too bad of the accomplishments that I've made. They're the same hands that used to milk cows and pick cock. They said, but they're not that nice. No, I hold a microphone now. Well, I'm appreciative that God has let me go from there to here, and I mean that. There is a new generation of African-American artists navigating into the country music industry. These performers are armed with talent and optimism. One day, there will be a black person who goes to the bank on country. And singer-songwriter Reese Palmer's career is taking off. Girl. Country music has a new star. Her video was nominated as the most streamed for a new artist on CMT. Carrie and Jessica make room for Reese. I co wrote nine of the 12 songs on this album, so it's a really personal album for me. He's Nashville's newest neophyte. All the people that I look up to stood in that circle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the thing that I love about country music is how it is relatable to every person. Boys for a hair raising catapult to the top of country music. And everybody can, I think, identify with the morality and the spirituality of country music. Seriously, she's a sister rocking the country world. An African American with a hit country song. Some of my earliest memories of music around the house was mainly my mother. She loved country music. When was your big break? Oh, gosh. Well, there were several almost breaks. Often compared to the now legendary tale of Mariah Carey's meteoric rise. It was really like that, minus the fireworks. The video totally brought the concept home, I think, like with the all the women in the video are holding up signs from different places and stuff. And it's just, it's funny. I get so many emails and so many comments from people just saying, like, you wrote that song about me. That's about me. And she's being called a rare talent in country. She knows the South, where her video is blowing up the internet watch list. So thank you. Hold on to me.